Paul Catalana and I finished the pediatric residency program before penicillin. My name is Lauren Clayton and I finished residency in 2022. My favorite memory is probably uh, hanging out in the call room with uh, Jim Beard and Bill Wiley uh, laughing um, nonstop. Well, I have lots of different kinds of favorite memories. Some of them are just from every day on rotations. Others are from special interactions I had with patients. But I think one of the most residency specific favorite memories that I have was from our end of the year banquet that the residency has for all the graduating residents each year. It was just a really special time to all come together and reflect on the magnitude of three years of residency and how we had all changed and supported one another. So I'll always look back on that evening fondly. There, there's no greater joy than uh, being give, given the privilege to mentor students, to mentor residents. Um, medicine is all about not only giving to our patients, but giving back to those that we're fortunate enough to work with, uh, especially those uh, who are younger in their careers. I'm most grateful that as a result of my training, I've been able to become this really special blend of all my favorite pediatricians. Um, there's just so many admirable role models in the program that are so committed to their patients and this community and academics. and. Um, that includes newer pediatricians, ones that have been in the system for years and years, outpatient, inpatient, our subspecialists, just so many amazing people to look up to. So I'm really most grateful for their time and that I was able to learn from them and now I get to try and incorporate little bits and pieces of them into my practice every day. What helped me most during my residency, especially during the hard times, uh, my faith, uh, my family, my friends and the encouragement uh, that I got from them, especially when I made a mistake. Uh, and it was tough. Uh, and I know I sound like an old man, and I am, but you know, back then we, we worked long, hard shifts. And uh, the support that I was fortunate enough to receive from, from all those individuals got me through. My residency friendships helped me through the hard days the most, I think. Um, it's a unique bond because even when you have supportive family and friends outside of medicine, there are certain things people just aren't gonna get like another resident will. So when things started to feel heavy, I would definitely rely on some of my co-residents, sometimes just to vent, sometimes for some much needed laughs, and I couldn't have made it through without a culture that allowed for that. What made me feel appreciated uh, during residency? Hugs from children. Uh, and uh, some of the comments from children, uh, like, uh, when you wash your hands, where do the germs go? Uh, doctor, what in the world happened to all your hair? Uh, things like that uh, keep you young and, and keep you entertained. Certainly the support received from mentors and faculty was, was um, insurmountable. Our program directors really went above and beyond to always make us feel appreciated. Um, they were just always relentlessly positive and encouraging and always relatable. Um, and I think what made me feel appreciated was that they were so attentive to us as individuals and all of our individual needs, strengths, weaknesses, and nothing really makes you feel more appreciated than when the people you look up to are investing in you like that. I'm most grateful uh, for many opportunities uh, that uh, were, were given to me, uh, most of all for mentors, uh, people like uh, Dr. Matthews, Dr. Jackson, Dr. Deloach, Dr. Anderson, all original members of what back then was the Christie Group, uh, taught me so very much. And also many, many nurses. Uh, I especially think of Miss Cook, uh, who was a, a head nurse for a number of years. When Miss Cook spoke, we listened because uh, she had uh, such a heart for children and such an incredible uh, knowledge to be able to read children and to help us to understand what those children needed from us. If I could say one thing to those that spearheaded this residency program 50 years ago, I would say thank you for this opportunity for people like me. 
uh, people who love Greenville so much, who were born and raised here and are now raising children of our own here. Because of you, uh, we now have this incredible community for children and also a way to give back to this community the best way we know how. To those residents who are graduating, um, I've, I've found that during the second year of residency, you think you know everything that you need to know. During your third year, you realize that you don't know a lot, uh, and that's okay. Uh, because as, as cliche as the term is, uh, you're entering lifelong learning career. Uh, don't be too hard on yourself. Most importantly, don't take yourself too seriously and keep your eyes off of the computer and keep your eyes on the patients.